Welcome to my channel guys, this is me Rahul here and you are watching Swag Tech. In the previous video, you have uh, learned about binary system and how basically your data is stored in your memory, right? And I have said you that it's uh, in, stored in bit by bit and I have told you how it is stored in zeros and ones and stuff like that. If you have not watched the previous video, then go watch it right now. Uh, I'll post the link in the description so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, after watching that video, watch this video. This video is, uh, as I have told you earlier, this video is gonna be about data types and variables, right? So today I'm gonna be talking about data type and data types and variables. As from name, you can understand what data type is. Data type is basically the type of data that you are storing. Like a, it can be an integer. Data can be an integer, integral integer value, or it can be a decimal value, or it can be a letter, or a you know anything it can be. So there are different types of data, right? So you have uh, two types of data types. Uh, one is primitive type of data types and non-primitive type of data types. We'll be going in uh, in deep with the non-primitive type uh, after you know after some time. But today we're gonna be learning about only primitive type of data types. So what are primitive type of data types? These are, uh, for example, in case of uh, integer types we have this type of data types you can see on the screen i guess uh, these are the types of data types and uh, the memory uh, space taken by these data types for example in case of byte you have uh, one one byte of uh, memory space taken in case of short you have two byte of memory space taken in case of integer you have uh, this is int you have you have uh, four bytes of space taken and in case of long you have eight bytes of space taken as i have told you in the previous video too and how you know that how uh, how the range of number is uh, that you can store in this integer data types as i have told you in the previous video and um, in this video you will also understand this from the table you can already understand a lot of stuff and uh, and this and after that you have float and uh, what is float? Float is basically for storing integer um, decimal types. Uh, for these are decimal types of data types. We have under decimal type, uh, you have uh, float and double. Uh, in the, uh, we'll be uh, going on to practicals about this today. So I will understand how basically you store a value uh, using these data types. Uh, but after that, you have a boolean, boolean data type, and then character data type. Boolean data type is basically to store a value true or false, and uh, the character type of data type is basically for storing any character, anything like any letter, alphabet, whatever it is. Okay, so you understood what these are the types of data types, uh, the primitive type of data type basically, and after that, we are gonna be knowing what is what are variables. So variables are you know, let's say. You have a big memory right now you have stored certain data using any data type so you will need to store it somewhere uh, in the memory right and after storing it you will have to name it something or to give it a reference so that uh, when you will tell the compiler what it is then it will understand what basically you wanted like for example if you type anything like uh, integer a is equal to something so this this uh, a refers to a, uh, a refers to that part of the memory where this uh, value is stored, right? So th that is what is variable is. So this is the first function of variable. Another function of variable can be that it you can uh, it varies, you know. It you can uh, vary the variable. That means you can change the value that you stored inside of a variable. But uh, these are these are uh, different cases different times you have uh, different cases so you will understand that later on but for now you will have to understand only this that uh, when you, you when you have to store anything like uh, one is a, one is a number right one is the integer so you will use int uh, so int and then you store it somewhere and give it a name a and this a basically refers to that uh, place of the int uh, where you have stored this value one okay so basically this is the function of variable and what variable is and now why these different types of data types we are using you might ask for example you if you have made any program and you know that the program returns a value which is uh, not pretty long or not pretty uh, you know big so it is like a, a medium size value like you you it will um, you know it will return values between 0 to 100 then you know that it is not a big value so why to use a large amount of memory why to use a large part of the memory uh, in this process because it will become a, a little bit uh, you know slower and stuff like that. 
for example if you have a small thing to carry with you then why would you use a massive truck to carry that thing right so that's why you use uh, different types of data types for different uh, purposes okay so without any further let's get into the uh, practical parts and let me show you how basically you store any value inside of a variable inside using any data okay so as you can see i'm on my android phone right now i'm not using my laptop uh, today because uh, it is not in a good condition i'll be using this java and ide as i have told you earlier this this is also a good one if you are using an android you can program here in java so i'll click on here and you will when you will first install it and then you will pop up uh, you will get a pop up like this which says create a new java project so i'll give it name youtube tutorial whatever you want to give you can give it after that package name should be starting with lower case letter data types and class should be following camel casing that is starting from uppercase and then in middle can be uppercase 2 okay so this is the class now it has got created okay this is how it should look like when you will create it and uh, let us keep five spaces yeah so as you can see the main method is already created so inside of the main method let me show you first the first data type that I have told you is byte so byte a is equals let's give the variable name as a and uh, the value sh let's say it's 100 and you should close with using semicolon so this is how you write a variable okay so variable is a inside of this a you have stored a value 100 and this is a data type of byte so now when i will print it using system dot out dot pln tln and then close it using a uh, semicolon and then i will uh, print a only so when i will run it so it should give me print out me 100 so as you can see it is printing out 100 okay these are mistaken probably now when i will uh, now let's let's see short short can store uh, two bytes two bytes of uh, has two bytes of space so i'll give it 200 because it, it can store that much so when i'll run this it as you can see it prints out 200 now uh, we'll see about int int has four bytes of space so it can store two thousand more than thousands i guess so we'll give it so as you can see it returns me thousand now for long it can store even longer so let's give it like this much as you can see it returns me this value prints out me this value now we'll uh, see about uh, the decimal data types which is first one is float so for float uh, float type of you know decimal uh, thing you need to make sure you do something like this you need to make sure that you uh, after writing any decimal uh, character decimal number you need to type an f after that why you are typing it this as f is because basically uh, okay now this is float okay now let me show you double two i will tell you why i have typed f right now double b is equals let's say 1.3 okay so now in this case uh, okay system dot out dot print ln b okay so in this case as you can see uh, double is also 1.3 and the float is also 1.3 so basically what happens is that when you will uh, set a variable type as, uh, as data type as float uh, in a variable a and then give it a uh, 1.3 that is a decimal number the compiler actually treats this 1.3 like a double so it will show you a compilation error so 
uh, you need to make sure that it is uh, make the compiler sure that it is a float float type of uh, data type that is it it should take a specific amount of uh, byte uh, memory allocations right so to make make it and make him understand that you will uh, give that small f in the end so now well I will print it out I should get 1.3 and 1 points so these are the decimal type of data types now let's uh, check out the boolean type boolean is basically to store true or false so let's uh, another thing that I am showing you right now uh, the, the you know the variable name should be you know uh, can be from uh, lowercase letter starting from lowercase letter and then in middle okay is variable in middle it can be uh, uppercase letter too so this is true uh, so when I will print out it will basically print me out true now you get the idea right so now after that uh, in case of this one uh, I'll character character b is equals uh, so character should be stored like this uh, be between single quotes okay so like at the rate is a character right so I will store at the rate is care let's say now when I will print it out okay I have given it wrong it should be like this now when I why am I getting compilation error right now okay 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 I have not changed this one so is variable I think I am out of my mind anyways is car so when I will print this two out I should get true and then at the rate so these are the primitive types of data types that I that you have learned and uh, you know this is the primitive type of data types that you need to know right now and uh, in the further videos in uh, future videos you are going to be learning more about these things yeah so basically that's it i hope th that's it for the video i hope that you enjoyed and uh, i don't know next class is what what's gonna be so uh, let's wait for the next class and we'll learn something about this thing yeah and always keep in mind these things what i've told you about uh, variables and uh, about characters and about uh, this uh, space taken stuffs and about all data types okay yeah so bye peace and make sure you subscribe to my channel too for more such videos and uh, the series will continue on